Hello, everybody. Well, Dakota and I are all packed up and uh, we are heading to the property. We are officially going to live off grid. There we go. Now we're officially going to live off grid. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're on the road. Should be there in about an hour and 15 minutes, hour and 10 minutes it looks like. So hopefully everything goes smooth and we don't have any uh, any issues. So um, I'll check in when we get to the property. So catch you guys later. Here, we're almost to the property and uh <laughs> sorry about that, I hit a bump and dropped my mic. Um anyways, yeah, so hopefully we can get up the uh driveway without any issues. I'm hoping. Oh my gosh, this road's bumpy. a hell of a bump. Just lost some stuff. Okay, there's the driveway. Hopefully we don't have any issues. go we made it hello everybody as you can see I'm in a hole um, yeah so today we are going to attempt um, to put our well in. I'm hoping I don't have to go very far. The only thing that makes me nervous about this spot is there's a lot of clay here. Um, when I was out here leveling everything off and doing the driveway, I come down here with the skid loader and I dug down as deep as I can because that's the first thing you really want to do is dig down as deep as possible. Um, but it seems to be all clay. So I'm hoping, uh, as you can see, I threw the post hole digger down here. So I'm hoping that I hit sand at some point. But, yeah, because if I've got all clay, I don't think I will be able to pump water from it and I'll have to find a different spot. So I'm gonna dig this real quick and then uh, as far as I can, hopefully I hit sand and gravel. Uh, then we'll go from there, so wish me luck. Well, uh, day three. <laughs> um, yeah, it's raining out. A lot. And lightning and thunder. So, yeah, hopefully, uh, this quits. Okay, we're back at this project. <laughs> um, well, there's water in the well hole. No, get off me. Thank you. I don't want, well, I'm going to get covered in mud, anyways. Say hi to everybody, Dakota. 
So, um, yeah, technically there's water in the well. Um, so this has been gone over in, in a thousand different videos, but I'm just going to give you a quick, <laughs> what, quick rundown. So one thing you need is a, it's a ductile iron, which is a type of cast iron, actually. Um, it's a cap for driving the well. You put this on top of your well pipe, you drive it down, you take it off, so on and so forth. That's something you definitely need. Um, then I got some pipe dope. It's a pipe thread sealant. Um, it's a, it's a, like a two in one kind of thing. It seals it and it lubricates it in case you got to take it apart. Um, so yeah, up to 10,000 PSI. Uh, definitely need that. Be careful when you're applying it. Um, all the videos I've seen on how to do this, uh, you want to skip the first two, maybe three threads because uh, the taste will get in there and it takes a long time to wash the taste out. Then you need these little expensive buggers, which are special uh, couplings, couplers, whatever you want to call them. They're heavy duty so they don't mess up when you're beating this well pipe into the ground and you need a couple of these i got these from harbor freight for 22 bucks each and you need an airplane to fly overhead <laughs> you need one of these which is a uh this is the sand point so there it's this one's stainless steel um but there's a little fine screen in here to keep the particles out and it's got this big heavy duty tip that you pound in now the only thing that scares me is i am going to go through a little bit of clay um, i didn't film it but i did take my divining rods um, water witching whatever if you guys believe in it or you don't believe in it i believe in it and i've i've used it in the past and it's definitely worked um, right here is what it said so we are going to uh, get putting some pipe and everything together and and uh, get this rolling so I'll zoom in just a bit for you guys so you can see a little bit better. Oop. Ah, there we go. A little bit better what I'm doing here. So, um, oh, nice mosquitoes. Here's the, the pipe dope stuff, and it's just a... Doesn't smell too bad. But, um, so you want to take that cap off, toss it up there. And like I said, you just want to skip a the first couple of threads, you know. I put bug spray on and these mosquitoes are still, hoy. So you, you do this because you don't want any air getting in there or you'll lose suction. Now, I did buy a different type of pump. Um, an actual well pump because now that I got electricity and everything with uh, the solar panels, I'm able to um, use uh, an actual well pump. It's only a half horse. That hand tight. <laughs> there we go. God, these mosquitoes. Get out of here. A little bit more. Jesus. Yeah, I literally covered myself head to toe with um, mosquito repellent. And, and God, these things are still just vicious little buggers. All right, why isn't this tight in here? Oh, wrong way. Okay. Then you take your other one, and you want to do the opposite. And it's probably easier to do this up on the ground. I'm just doing this to show you guys real quick. Had a heck of a storm come through this morning. All right. 
Okay. There we go. Got this figured out finally. Oh, that wind makes me nervous. I no sooner got home, I had to run to town and get some stuff, like a well pump. And uh, I no sooner got here and a tree branch broke off one of the trees and kind of made me nervous. I don't like these oak that much because they uh, tend to uh, rot. There we go. All right, that is good. So then you just kind of do the same thing with a piece of the well pipe. Now, oh man, this clay. There we go. So here's the well pipe. And uh, this is special heavy duty pipe. So make sure if you're doing a well, you get actual well driving pipe. You don't want to mess up and get some just regular galvanized pipe because you'll uh, you'll regret it you'll bend the threads and everything else bend the pipe if you hit a rock That's some here's some Canadian geese flying overhead just gonna goober that up real good there we go and then yeah same concept Ooh. It is real muddy right here. <laughs> and this will be the, the first section. Oops, I want this like this. There we go. All right. No, I want this one like this. There we go. Just like this. This one goes like this. How did this loosen up? There we go. Glad I got these 24 inch ones and they're aluminum handles so they are a little bit lighter. <clears throat> Holy cow, that's tight. Oof. So then. So now, yep, there it is, right there's the, <coughs> the hole that I started. That was cool. So, um, guys, mosquitoes. Sorry to complain about the mosquitoes, but man. I'm gonna actually wipe that off first. I somehow got dirt in there. Okay, that's good. And again, um, I'm just putting the sealer on there because, like I said, it dang it, it acts like a lubricant too, and I don't want that cap um, struggling to come back off. You want to get this good and tight too. So you don't mess the threads up. Out of here. All right, so I'm gonna kind of hold this somewhat level. And I'm doing this the hard way. I'm doing it with a sledgehammer, so Excuse me. Wish me luck. There we go. Finally got the well down, I think, far enough. 
Uh, it started going real easy about the last three feet, give or take. So I'm guessing I'm about, from ground level, I'm probably 15, 16 feet down, give or take. I might have to go further, but I want to hook the pump up to it and test it. So we're going to do that real quick. Now hopefully I've got this set right. Yeah, I'm going to have to come down more. I figured as much, but it looks like I'm going to have to pull that coupler off. I was hoping not to have to do that. Yeah, I'm going to have to. Unless I just remove this completely. But even still, I still got to drop it down quite a bit. So I think we're just going to pull that coupler off. I got to trim this board down some. So I'll be back in a minute. much gooder okay let's grab that pump again oh. this oh. looks like I gotta move it this way some That's good and tight. Now we're gonna prime the pump. I gotta find my oh, there it is. Whoop, gosh dang it. Don't stay in there. What are goofy ducks doing. Oh. Goofy ducks. Alright. So there's an actual priming cap in here. It's right here. But it's just as easy to do it like this. Oh man, it's warm out today. It's been like 74. Hopefully I get this going. I could definitely use a shower. Yeah, it's full. If you notice right here, I've got a one-way valve. So hopefully it doesn't lose prime, but I think it's going to anyways. So I'm going to go flip the switch. We'll see what happens. Wish me luck. Really need an on off switch down here. Supposed to let it run for five minutes after you get it primed. It's building pressure. We 
really hope I don't have to go down further. It's uh, it's not easy, as easy as they make it look like in the movies. I'll tell you that much. So if I crack the pipe or something, I'm sucking air. I don't think it'll pull water. Step one, wake up early, gonna rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, you grow high about what you wanna be. Step four, fuck everybody, just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up. 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 Today's gonna be a good day. Yo, set your affirmations, aspirations. I got shit to do. The aftermath of preparation. Good food, good mood, blood in circulation. One step at a time. Yeah, that's how you make it. Set a goal you control and the steps you take them. I try to pick one thought, have some concentration. And if I make a mistake, it's called education. I try to do this every day, call it replication. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. So life ain't easy, yo. I think there's a reason, though. Ups and downs, just like every different season, yo. Sometimes I'm high, other times I'm barely breathing, though. I always gotta fight and hide from the demons, yo. Negative thoughts are poison, they rot. Uh. Head full of flaws, so here come the clouds. Uh. They'll never stop unless I can swap All the bad for the good in my head when I'm lost uh. Yeah, so I'ma fake it till I make it Positive thoughts are overtaken, I got patience One day at a time is how you operate a cadence A flow, you grow, you show yourself a foundation Stay away from all the shit that causes temptation I know that I like to do it cause of sensation I live my life in my head like a narration Don't expect greatness, do my best, man, I'll take it Wake up, today's gonna be a good day Wake up, today's gonna be a good day Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up, today's gonna be a good day.